but let's go. So we are going to learn how to solve by graphing today, but before that I want to just review what we know how to do the old-fashioned way. So we want to solve this equation which is x cubed plus 3x squared equals x plus 3. So one of the things that we could do is we could put this in standard form, we could graph it, we could find the rational roots, and if there's, and if there's, what, well, it's third degree, right? So if we have three rational roots, we're done, and if not, then we could find the irrationals or the imaginaries. True enough? Okay, so let's put this in standard form. So to do that, we'd want to subtract the x and subtract the 3 and get it all on the same side. And we'd end up with an equation that looks like x cubed plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. And just by looking at that, we know that it's got a y-intercept of negative 3. The right hand goes up and the left hand goes down. So that's pretty good so far. All right, so in the calculator, x to the third plus 3x squared minus x minus 3. And I'm going to do a zoom 6, a zoom standard, to reset my window. And, well, this is a pretty nice looking graph. It looks, it looks kind of like, like that, doesn't it? So, just by looking at that, how many uh, imaginary roots are there? Zero. There's zero. I asked you backwards. How many real roots are there? three because there's three intercepts. Now, let's see, the rational roots would be factors of three divided by factors of one. So factors of three are one and three plus or minus. It looks like these are all rational. I'm going to press my trace button and I'm going to put in negative three enter. I get y equals zero. So there's one of them, x equals negative three. That one looks like negative 1, so trace, negative 1, enter, y is 0, so we know that's a root. And that one looks like 1, so trace, 1, enter, we get y is 0. And so, three rational roots, and there we are. If you knew the three rational roots and all the multiplicities were one, could you write this in factored form? X plus three, X plus one. Oh, hold it. What did I write zero there for? And then X minus one. So we've got it factored form. We've got it standard form. We know all about this. Okay. But, you know, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. And it's good work, but it's a lot of work. So I'd like you to show you an alternative to finding these roots by graphing. And so here's what we're going to do. For graphing, we are going to leave this equation just the way it is. And we are going to put the left-hand side of the equation into y1. And we are going to put the right-hand side of the equation into y2. And then you can press your graph button and just draw a rough sketch. It doesn't have to be exactly, but just draw a rough sketch. I'm going to put it over there. There we go. And it looks kind of 
like that. Okay. Now, once we have both things graphed and sketched, what we want to do is we want to find these intersection points. And the way that we do that is we press second trace and you, five, you find number five intersect. <coughs> you press enter and you answer three questions. First curve, enter. Second curve, enter. And when it says guess, you move the cursor near the intersection point, press enter. And the first intersection is x equals negative 3. Second, trace. to go into the calculate menu then you do numbers number five which is intersect and then you answer the three questions first curve enter second curve enter and move your cursor near an intersection point and press enter the next one is negative one second calculate five enter enter scroll and enter and X equals positive 1. And what you'll see is we came up with the same roots both ways. The only downside to solving by graphing is that you get approximations instead of actual or exact values. And if we're using this to solve applications problems, you know, like real world problems, then approximations are just fine. So let's do another one down below, and then we'll be done. So solve by graphing 36x cubed plus 6x squared equals 9x. I'm going to put the left side equal to y1 and the right side equal to y2. Third plus 6x squared and 9x. And you can do a zoom 6 to reset your window. And, ooh, It looks like there's a lot of action going on right in there, but it's really hard to see. So, yeah, we need to zoom in. And that's going to be the hardest problem of solving these kind of problems is finding the right window to get the intersections. So, before I zoom, if this is cubic, how many uh, complex solutions do you expect? Three. So ideally, we'll find three real solutions, but it's possible we might only find one. Um, I'm just going to adjust my window. It looks like the up and down is okay, so I'm just going to do the right and left by going into the window. I'm going to go negative 2 in the x min, positive 2 in the x max, and press graph. But you could do the zoom in, or you could do the zoom box, and it'll all work. Looks like three real solutions. So I'm not going to try and graph it exactly. I'm just going to draw a sketch. And that's really all you need to do is just a sketch. Do second, trace to get to the calculate menu, intersect, first curve enter, second curve enter, scroll sideways to the intersection, press enter. Ooh, see, I'm going to change my equal sign to an approximately sign. 
and it looks like negative 0. Point. Let's round all of these to the hundredths place, two decimals. So negative 0. 0.59. Second calculate intersect, first curve, second curve. Yep, x equals 0. That's an exact value. Second calculate intersect, enter, enter. The next one, x approximately 0 0.42. What do you think?